And I'm not suggesting that all of you become angry, rageful people here. What I'm suggesting to you is to, to recognise when you are actually angry and to understand that in that moment you are denying an emotion underneath the anger that you do not want to feel. And if you use your anger as a guide to link you down into that emotion, you'll get to every one of those emotions really quickly. But if you don't use your anger as a guide and just skip over the anger, you'll stay in a stagnated state for a much longer period of time. So if you choose to suppress your anger or you choose to stay in your anger, you will not progress on the divine love path. You won't even progress on the natural love path using those methods. Because both paths require that you get into your real emotion. So start allowing yourself to progress by actually seeing the threads of irritation and annoyance and all those kind of very mild feelings you feel and allow yourself to dig into that emotionally. Really start confronting those feelings within yourself. Allow yourself to dig underneath and find out what is going on. If you do that, what will happen is that you'll progress very rapidly and you will allow the experience of the emotions the anger currently is denying. Because it's the anger you use is there to get you away from another emotion. It's there to keep you from God in a way. It can be your guide to God if you see what you're doing. But it won't be your guide to God if you don't, God, if you don't see what you're doing. 